Learning analytics has been defined by many people. Uh, there are a number of different definitions for it. One of the key ones is from a LAC conference at the Learning Analytics and Knowledge Conference. Uh, but what all of them really come down to is the use of data about students and about the context in which they're operating in order to help those students and improve educational processes. What learning analytics isn't is the kind of institutional analytics that takes place, things about student finance, about uh, predicting student numbers. It really does home in on the learning aspects how to uh, enhance things for individual learners as well as groups of learners and improve all those processes around learning. Some people get learning analytics and learning metrics confused. There is a difference between these things, but really the starting point is data. So you have a data from a number of different sources. The two most commonly used data sources in learning analytics are from the virtual learning environment and the student record system. But there are other systems such as library systems, attendance monitoring systems, and all these systems produce data from which metrics are derived. So those metrics might be things such as the number of times students attend lectures, uh, how often they're on campus, uh, how often they go into the virtual learning environment, the number of library books they borrow. Those metrics in turn can produce what's called composite metrics, which might, for example, be an indicator of the students' overall engagement with their studies. So you might combine the number of times they logged into the virtual learning environment with uh, their attendance on campus and uh, even their assessment and produce this overall uh, metric of engagement. That whole process combined with the interpretation of those metrics and the interventions that you might take with the individual students to try and help them, for example, if they're at risk of dropout, uh, or, or poor results, that is the process of learning analytics. So what's new here, we've been looking at student engagement with learning, trying to understand how students learn for decades. Uh, learning analytics provides us with a whole lot of new data sources uh, and a more in-depth opportunity to, to analyse what students are doing. So never before have we had the ability to home in on a student's individual uh, activity in the way that we can do now and that's partly because we're doing a lot more online learning uh, and there are just more data points we can extract that student data from. What uh, traditional higher education has done has provided a one-size-fits-all kind of uh, educational experience for the students so you, you deliver your course and you deliver the same thing the same lectures to students you give them the same kind of assessments with learning analytics, we have the opportunity to do a far more uh, personalised approach here and provide individual help to students, pinpoint those ones that are, are at risk uh, and then take interventions to try and help those students. One of the strengths of learning analytics is that we can use it at different levels throughout the institution. So we can start with the data about an individual student. Uh, we can play that back to the student to show whether there are any areas that they could improve in, for example, and a tutor can take that data as well and provide more personalised uh, input to the student. But that tutor or a, a lecturer might be responsible for a wider cohort of, of students and can look at all the different students' data together, comparing individuals with the average, for example. And then you might have a, a faculty structure where a dean wants to see how the, the learners are progressing, or even an inf institutional level. And finally, uh, you might even want to export the data outside the institution uh, to government, for example, if the government wants to get an idea, the education department wants to see how students are doing across the board. We have to be careful here to be sure that we're not deceiving ourselves into thinking that learning analytics can explain everything that's going on. One of the premises of learning analytics is that uh, engagement is a proxy for learning. Of course, we can't really know what's going on in the heads of individual students. We can measure it through assessments and we can look at the amount of time they're engaging with things. We might, for example, measure uh, how often a student is going into the library, how long they're spending in the library, but they might just be sitting there talking to friends. Uh, so this is a, 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 an important thing to, to remember that causality is not the same as correlation. We're correlating the amount of effort that a student puts in with the final grade uh, but that doesn't explain the whole picture. However, we do know 
that the most engaged students tend to do better in the end, and that's what learning analytics is trying to tell us.